uh, what computer components do we use for our mining rig build? Mostly for Ethereum. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's uh, Guntis here. Uh, we, I am here, here today in uh, my shop uh, warehouse where I thought I'm gonna shoot a quick video about uh, what components we use for mining rig build and what we think is uh, the best to use and which has what which uh, uh, cards uh, gives the most stability. And just to give a background on me, I have uh, built around 200 rigs since uh, March 2016 and I have used a lot of kind of different components, a lot of different cards and I will give you my uh, information, sh share my knowledge, what I think it is a good component to use uh, and uh, which cards are the most stable and uh, yeah. Uh, I will do this video on uh, two parts, like uh, I will do the, the motherboards and the, all the other components which are connected to motherboard like uh, um, CPU, RAM, SSD and uh, what risers we use and then the power supplies and uh, graphics cards. So first up, uh, motherboards Astroc. No doubt, the best motherboards for building the mining rig. Uh, H81 Pro BTC, first and second version. These are not uh, manufactured anymore, uh, first version, so you won't be able to get them. Uh, and if you can, probably very hard to get them. And uh, also we use the uh, Z97 uh, anniversary. It also has uh, six PCI slots, all of them has, and uh, they use 1150 uh, CPU socket. So we use that Intel Celeron. Uh, it's 2.8 uh, gigahertz du dual core and uh, G1840. Uh, it's good enough power uh, the CPU and uh, it uh, does the job and it's enough for the mining rig because you will be using only for mining uh, ram we use uh, ddr3 8 gigabyte ram and that's totally enough even you can use 4 gigabytes but you know we use 8 gig gigabytes if uh, it's uh, gets more stability and it doesn't uh, lag as much ssd card 60 gigabytes ssd card is enough cheapest you can get uh, if you don't want to get 60 get 120 gigabyte uh, card now uh, we use also these for connecting uh, more cards to the uh, motherboard um, it's a, like a splitter uh, PCI slot on the motherboard, so you just connect uh, uh, one one wire to the one socket of the motherboard, and it splits into the three sockets. Um, <clears throat> risers, also these can be uh, good to use uh, for motherboards that doesn't have uh, the six PCI slots and in some countries I know you can't get these Astroc uh, motherboards because a lot of you have been contacting me and said that you, in your country this model is not available. So risers, we used to use all the time this. They are very good risers, version 6. You can see here. They come in three different colors, I think it's blue and, uh, and green also. Um, very good risers, but now that we uh, 
got our hands on a new model, version 7. Version 7. Version 7S. Um, we tried them uh, out last night. Seems like a great cable. Cable. It's a good thing that you can connect straight uh, the uh, SATA cable from your power, su power supply straight to the uh, uh, PCI, PCI riser uh, board and uh, you don't need to use this cable because this riser comes with this cable and uh, some of the people were complaining that these uh, wires get burned but uh, this, this riser, the new version, version 7, doesn't uh, get these um, um, uh, mobile to uh, a SATA cable and uh, Molex to SATA and uh, you can uh, connect a wire straight from your power supply to the uh, riser board. We built a rig last night and it seems they do a good job. So, power supplies. If you're using, if you're using, uh, if you're using a mining rig with RX 480 cards, you will need 1,300 power supply. The best EVGA Supernova G2, 1,300 watt. Absolutely great power supply. Enough cables to connect any uh, RX480 card. Uh, six of them to one motherboard. And even more. You can connect uh, like a rebuild uh, with RX480s and uh, for Ethereum mining six cards use about maximum. Maximum this is some brand of cards is about 990 watts but some rigs even use 900 so you can easily build uh would say nearly eight cards on uh, on one uh mining rig with this power supply next we like this lot uh evga 1000 watt g3 also ev uh, from evga um great great uh, uh, power supply uh, it's a new model I think it came out just uh, last year in December we were using the all the time G2 1000 watt power supplies for uh, six card RX 470s and uh, this power supply is a lot smaller than the other one a lot lighter and more efficient it says i think it's 93 percent efficiency it, it comes with uh, uh, five vga cables and uh, it has total uh, eight six plus two uh, uh, what you call them pci They are very good, good power supplies, these here. Very good. And cards, cards, what we think is the best for RX 480s, what we use and it's, which is most stable and uh, use uh, less power. MSI. MSI, eight gigabyte. They do about 30 and a half mega hash for each card. Uh, I love MSI brand the most because they have the best cooling. The cards are running very cool and the fans are very uh, quiet. You don't even hear the noise. Only on the, uh, only on the MSI armor they are a bit louder. But that's for our best card for RX480 rig. And the best, uh, second best for RX 470 is uh, 
MSI as well, four gigabytes. And uh, they are nearly identical in the looks. Just this card, RX 470 doesn't have the backplate, where RX 480 does, does have the backplate. And they, they use a uh, one eight pin connection from power. And our first place on the RX 470s rig, MSI Armor, four gigabytes. Very great card. I don't. I know. I know some people can say, you know, oh, it has only uh, six thousand. I think six hundred uh, memory speed and uh, and uh, it's very slow. But this doesn't affect uh, mining for Ethereum. Actually, what we have uh, figured out that these cards are very stable. I don't know for some reason because uh, some of the other cards, if I use, you know, the overclocks, when you overclock all of them, some cards can't handle the overclocks. But these, I don't know, I have built last six or seven rigs with these, and they do, uh, they are maximum overclock possible, 2100 you can put on them, on the uh, memory speed, memory uh, overclock. They have like a small ring, around to protect the fans only thing they they use a bit more power than the this model rx 470s from msi and uh, also they are a bit uh, louder so about 830 watts for six card rig with uh, these cards here where uh, these cards do about uh, 760 watts for whole rig but these cards are, uh, in my opinion, they are the best to use uh, for your mining rigs. They are not too expensive. They uh, does about uh, 28 and a half, 29 mega hash per card. And uh, yeah, this is the the best card what you I think you should go for. So you use six of these, one G3 power supply, and uh, I will have the links in the uh, description uh, what um, on all the components we use. I think the best is uh, to go with uh, RX470 if you're thinking to uh, build a mining rig because uh, they are 20% cheaper than the RX 480s. They are 10% uh, more power efficient, you know, you use 10% less power and only does about five, five to 10%. Uh, they are only slower for, from RX 480s. So, uh, you can do your calculations and uh, you will see that you get the price for mega, mega hash and price for uh, uh, mega hash per electricity cost. You will, these, these cards will, will be a winner, RX 470s. Okay, that's probably it about uh, this video. I think I, sh I showed you everything. If you have any more questions, you can comment down below as usual and subscribe my channel if you haven't uh, already, haven't done that already. We will have a, a promotion in uh, our shop. Uh, we have, a, we will have a, on sale uh, RX 470 mining rigs for Ethereum mining till end of March. So check it out. We will have I will have the links in the description. Thanks to everybody who is supporting my channel, who is liking the videos, who is commenting under the videos, and uh, this is for uh, that's it for this video. And see you on the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.